13 Reads, sponsored by Independent Bank. You know, summer reading programs are going to look a little different this year. We want to say hello to Henny with the Kent County District Library. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. So you have a guest with you. Who is this? I do. This is our summer wonder mascot and guide to summer reading, Curie. Hi, great to meet you. Hi, Curie. It's nice to meet you. Thanks. Let's talk about some of the changes and how you guys are, are dealing with our new normal, as we say, with this year's Summer Wonder program. Sure, yeah. So when March hit as um, co-chair of Summer Reading, we knew we needed to pivot a bit and make Summer Reading more accessible online. So Summer Reading Now, you can totally start participating and completely participate online. You can find our information at kdl.org summer. And you can also, we start curbside next week, so um, you can get our Summer Wonder booklet through curbside next week also. Who's that on the cover? Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my, that's, that's me. She's, a, she's our star. Absolutely. So what are other what types of things um, can the kids expect from this program this year, this summer? Sure, yeah, it's a 30-day reading challenge, and it's really for the whole family. So okay. from babies to adults, um, it's a 30-day challenge. You can read, you can do an activity. For school-age kids, we have STEAM activities in the booklet for them to do at home with materials that most people have at home. Um, so it's kind of read, do an activity, listen to a book. We're pretty easy going, but we're trying to get the whole family involved. And Kiri, why do you think this is so important for, for kids especially now. Oh, to always stay curious and keep thinking and creating. And there's so many possibilities with your imagination. And here at KDL, we wanted to put together some tangible resources for families and uh, to keep those brains moving. And so people, so you'll do a curbside, right? Curbside. And um, when do you guys think you'll start the slow process of maybe reopening? And if everything goes as planned, three weeks later on July 6th, we'll start opening our branches. Yeah. Oh, that'll be exciting. Now, I imagine it'll, once you do open, it'll still be a little different, right? It will be a little different. Um, our capacity will be lower as far as how many people we have in the branch. And um, you may not be able to stay for quite as long. Some people would stay, you know, for quite a few hours. We right. might not be able to accommodate that so much at the beginning. But um, we'll be open. People... Think of it kind of as a quick stop. You can definitely come in and pick up your books that you've been missing. And Kiri, uh, if, if there are any uh, kids watching right now, what would you say to them about this program? Oh, check out the online programs. Oh my, KDL's got uh, lots of great performers all summer long, uh, different story times, the staff, the guests that we're bringing in. Oh, be sure to check out those programs. I love it. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. We want to let everybody know that we'll have all this information on our website, 13onyourside.com. Thanks again, you guys. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks.